friends this is here today in this video uh, we're going to see about uh, node.js especially node.js in ibm right so before we get started right so let's first understand uh, what is this node.js okay and where it is useful because okay i'm I, even i'm not much familiar i'm just getting started so i'm just trying to share things okay so if you just go and see what is node.js right so you can see uh, node.js is actually a javascript it's a tool okay which can run javascript application on both server side and client side okay so now there is a question like uh, what is server side what is client side so just to demonstrate that right so say for example uh, in the web application context so this is a client say for example this browser is a client okay and then i'm going to uh, type something like uh, let's see for code then press enter so now what has happened is actually uh, this client has requested information to search uh, for the keyword this one and then it has created a request url and then it interface the details to the server in our case the google.com is our server and the server has actually responded with some details and then we are seeing that in this particular screen so this is typically a client server uh, naming convention in a web application standpoint so when we say a javascript is actually uh, initially created for to run on the client side so now what is the client side so say for example so I'm, I'm having a html document okay so i'm going to click here and then it displays the time so in this case right we didn't request anything to the server side to get these details so it happens uh, in the client side itself so how it happened so if you go and see the uh, source right so you can see this is actually a javascript uh, code which is embedded into the html page which gives you the date dynamically so this is how the initial uh, javascript uh, was useful for like it's a client side uh, programming language but what happened was in 2009 this guy called ryan dalt okay uh, he has taken the google's v8 javascript engine and then uh, he built a node something called node okay so now what is this google v8 javascript engine so before that right so normally to run a programming language we know there should be a compiler or a interpreter which should understand the thing and then you should execute it so here right the browser is having an inbuilt um, javascript engine so each browser has an inbuilt javascript engine so the one what google chrome is having is called google's v8 engine so to demonstrate this right so say for example if i give f12 i can see the developer tools so here you can see a console so if i go and type console.log hello basically this is a javascript way of printing something so you can see that it is displaying it so this browser itself is actually uh, uh, able to understand the javascript code and execute it okay so now what this guy has done he has taken this particular javascript in, uh, engine called v8 okay and then he using some c++ he has created something called node so what is this node okay so if you go and type uh, node.js you'll get a link here and you can download this node uh, particular node.js software just a exe file and once you install that right okay what you will get is something like this so node hyphen v so i have installed the node in my uh, desktop and then i can see the node is installed so i can verify it based on node hyphen v now i'm going to have a simple javascript so this is a simple javascript code okay which prints something like hello world and then this is actually a function in javascript which says like uh, the function name is say hello which takes one parameter and prints hello and with the name concatenation of it okay and then we are calling this uh, function say hello with some parameter so this is basically a simple javascript code okay normally this was running only on the client side but now with node.js we can do something like so i am in uh, my projects here we have this file called index.js available so i want to say node node index.js and you can see the node is executing the javascript code and then showing the result this is the advantage so with node.js right we can execute a javascript application on the server side as well so now what is server side so now we i'm able to execute this particular code in my desktop okay which means it becomes server, server side is it yes actually i can make my uh, laptop into a web server okay and then make this javascript run on top of it so now the thing is now what the example what we have seen is actually this one uh, the google.com is actually the server okay which is there somewhere else 
now if you if you, we want to build a web application right what we will do we need to have a web server and then the web server has to wait uh, for the request to come and if some request is coming it has to respond with some details so typically to make our desktop or pc into a web server we need to install some um, apache which, uh, web server kind of stuff okay but with node.js this is very very easy so i'm going to show you with an example okay so here i have another thing called app.js so before i show you the code i'm going to run this okay so node app.js so it is after running it right it says server is listening to port 3000 so i'm going to my chrome okay and then i'm going to say uh, localhost colon 300 slash and immediately you are seeing the response so now what ha what has happened actually my laptop it become a web server and which is listening to the port 3000 and then uh when i pass a request it responds with hello world from yourself so now if you want to see the code right so here is the code typically only this much line of code so we are just requiring a http uh, module from node.js and then we are saying that uh, that is uh, we are creating an object called server based on http.create server okay and then inside we are passing a function as a parameter here i'm just looking for request.url is equal to slash which means uh, the index thing okay uh, then i'm just writing the hello world user and then doing the end so this is pretty much the code which we need to write and then finally we need to have a server.listen which port we want to listen and then uh, while listening you can just display something like this so now you understand that the node.js right since it's a server side language which uses a javascript uh, it's very easy because it's a open source there are a lot of modules available uh, which will help us to make our web development very easy and then you uh, know uh, very fast so i am not actually based on the background of web development so i don't know much so even this code is right this is actually a basic code so we can do a lot more uh, in uh, in nodejs that's what i learned i mean i heard okay but i had to uh, like uh, learn those concepts now these things are general nodejs stuff okay now let's talk about our ibmi okay so ibmi uh, is installed with node.js so node.js is actually a open source which we can install in ibmi and luckily for our pub 400 it's already installed okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same uh, this whatever we have done here in pub 400 so here i have already logged in and you can see the web api.js is the code which is pretty much the same what we have just seen here okay and then i'm going to qsh okay and to check whether node is installed or not you can type node hyphen v so this will give you the version of the node and finally uh, node uh, web api.js so when we execute this right as usual it's saying server started on port 3030 now we want to see how it works so since it is pub 400 right so i'm going to end my this server okay so ping pub400.com to get the ip address so i'm going to take this ip address and then i'm going to the browser again and putting the IP address and pressing enter. And what you are seeing is actually the pub 400 website. So basically the pub 400 website is hosted on the same IP address. Now we have started our own web server in port 3030. We should see something here. Yes, so we got all over from Node.js from our pub 400. So if you think right, if without the Node.js, if you want to do the same, probably we will be creating an apache web servers another instant okay instance in the ibmi and then uh, creating a script alias match or something like that and then finally like returning uh, like handling the request in the rpg only and then returning it uh, as a um, uh, using the api we can return the text but now with node.js it's like less than 10 lines of code we're able to do it uh, so that is the basic thing which i want which i want to show about node.js Okay, so ideally, uh, I don't think I'll get much chance to work on this because uh, this Node.js is having a lot of packages actually, uh, which is available. Uh, we can just install and then make our job very easy. Uh, maybe I can do all those things on my desktop, but not on Pub 400 because I don't have uh, the access to install those stuff. So um, we have something called NPM, uh, Node Package Manager. Okay with that we can just install some dependencies and then make our web development very faster okay so 
yeah so if you are if you really getting a chance to work on nodejs so you should be lucky enough to do that uh, on the ibm i okay so from my side what i have just learned is about this nodejs stuff and so i'm just sharing it okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope it was interesting for you see you in the next video with another concept